visiting a Judaizing tribe called the Gogodala. The research that I've been doing on the, uh, on the Gogodala feeds into work I've been uh, doing for many, many years on similar Jewish movements or Judaizing movements throughout the world. It was really a pretty surreal trip. Okay, so I mean, there's certain things that he said already that you gotta pay attention to. Judaism, okay, and uh, uh, how, did, how did he put it? Basically, he's, he's trying to say that these people are trying to graft themselves into being uh, the ish, the ish people, right? Banners of welcome and this kind of extraordinary image pursued us throughout the whole trip. So we took an army plane uh, a couple of days later, which took us right into the middle of the western jungle of, um, of, of the western province in Papua New Guinea and uh, the same thing happened. The army plane dropped us in the middle of a vast field and immediately there were hundreds of people with banners and Israeli flags and yarmulkes See? and so uh -huh. But this was in the middle of the, of the jungle in one of the most remote and primitive places on the face of the earth. This is not the only uh, group that thinks that they're lost tribes of Israel. Here. Look at this. No mention. Uh huh. No mention of this, right? Look at that. It's a fun in the area. <clears throat> and according to my own research, my own theory, it's a global phenomenon. So and I very much hope that they will be able to um, receive some kind of sustenance from, uh, from the links that they may create with other groups, such as the Ebo in, in They may create, see? Or the, the Lemba in Zimbabwe. See, the Ebo. The Ebo in, in They may create, see? Or the, the Lemba in Zimbabwe. See, the Ebo. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Harecha HaKwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom to you other brethren. You followers of the truth, and let me say shalom to the elect. I want to go in this video uh, by the brother Gabar Adama. You know, I don't always get to check out brothers' videos like that, but uh, this popped up, so I said, uh, "Let me do it." And I remember, I remember doing a video. I actually offered this video a little while back off of that um, clip about, uh, and I believe they took it down. Um, you know, that's when we was going raw. <clears throat> okay. Um, anyway, uh, I put the points in the intro so everybody can get the gist of everything and what the points is basically was being made of how the deception of the Israelites. But what I also want to go into is um, why are these people called uh, the BHIs, the Black Hebrew Israelites, or Hebrew Israelism? Right in that time of adopt, adopting what they call Judaism, right? Um, they already pretty much had the heritage. It wasn't like that they uh, ran across them and they tried to be like them. We know what this man do. He steals everything he got. In fact, prior to 1946, let me say 1947 ish, 48. Um, those people were taken out and then he, these people were put in. I ain't talking about the, the Ethiopians. I'm talking about this man today who was in that land. They were put in. So who was there before them? You had uh, uh, Israelites. That some of, you know, it was of another nation, but the majority was Israelites. Right? Uh, just as a good portion of these Ethiopians that's practicing that are Israelites uh, as the brother brought out. Okay? <clears throat> so, this is clear of how what they, you know, what they uh, managed to do is this is all because we are awakening. And because we are awakening, this is them now trying to take away the credit or um, the uh, belief that we were there first and we taught this first. Okay? 
even though people in that land today, they adopted it from us anyway. And our heritage was discontinued in Jeremiah 17 and 4. Okay, so I don't have much to say on this. You know, I wanted to, I think the brother Gabar Dharma, you know, pretty much said most of it if you check out the video. Uh, I think the video is called Israelites Are Scattered. You know, and that was in the spirit because I really wanted to do a video on that, but I don't think I'd get that far into that. Uh, but the fact that Israelites look like, is going to look like other nations as well. And um, Ethiopians, they're going through some of the curses that we, we've gone through. But the powers that be will separate. And uh, as long as you can separate, you'll conquer. This is why, uh, another big reason is, this is why they say they won't call them the BHIs because they don't so-called support hate. They'll say everybody can be involved. But when you look at the pictures, you don't see nothing but them there. Why isn't anybody trying to be involved with them? And why are they letting them be involved with them? But that's what they say we do. At the end of the day, is that's what it is about. It's a separation of nations. Okay? Let's go to Romans 1 and 26. As the brother was bringing, bringing it out as well. But I'm going to bring this scripture out. Uh, 25. And he saith also in Hosea, I will call them my people which were not my people, and her beloved which was not my beloved, and it shall come to pass that in a place where it was said unto them, Ye are not my people, there shall, it, uh, there shall they be called the children of the living God. Right? So what was that place? Here. It ain't there. It ain't, it ain't over there. There's one place separate from the rest of the world that this also proves the Deuteronomy 28th prophecy that this would be us. Okay? It says also, Isaiah also cried concerning Israel, though the number of the children be as the uh, sand of the sea, and a remnant shall be saved. Right? A remnant. Right? For he will finish the work and cut it short in righteousness before uh, a short work with the Lord maketh up the earth. Right? So we're going to go to um, one of my favorites, Isaiah. Um, Isaiah, it looks like Isaiah 11, if I can find it. Because this shows that the Israelites is um, all scattered throughout the globe. You know, we are we are scattered. You know, throughout the four corners, Isaiah eleven verse eleven, and it shall come to pass in the day that the Lord shall set His hand a second time, okay, to recover the remnant of His people that are, uh, shall be left from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and uh, and from Elam and Shinar and Hamath. And all the islands of the sea. So these names were changed today. So they would be in, you know, they would be in different uh, uh, locations. And this also represents um, this Babylon. It represents some of these places, you know. That's why it says uh, Sodom of Egypt. Okay, so let's get the other account. Hosea 1 and 10 that backs up. Uh, what was that? Romans 9.26. It says, yet the number of the children of Israel shall be as the sand of the sea, which cannot be measured nor numbered. And it shall come to pass in the place where it was said unto them, ye are not my people. There shall be said unto them, ye are the sons of the living God. Right? So, we're not, that's not talking about them. That's talking about here in the north country. Because everybody would say that we're not the people of God, man. And they're still saying it. Okay, Psalms 83 and 3. They have taken crafty counsel against thy people and consulted against thy hidden ones. They have said, come and let us cut them off from being a nation that the name of Israel may be no more in remembrance. Okay, so that's pretty much clear. Um, I'm just going into this video and the uh, arrogancy of the proud. Okay, and... Um, the ways 
of, of this man and his sneakiness and his craftiness okay all these years they never decided to do any videos and trying to say who the biblical people of the Bible was but until we start really getting out there on YouTube and waking up then he says that these people could be um, uh, they could be um, grafted in or whatever they could be accepted like who is he to decide who should be accepted though this was the Lord show you know all, all of a sudden that means in his mind they're the top people that's what he's saying all fraud but that's what he's saying those are the top people but at the end of the day what he's trying to say is he's giving reference to these elites in this the 1948ers he's giving great reference to them as they are truly and this is why vocab alone will say um that they are the people of God but then they say nothing about the uh, Ethiopians Ethiopian Jews well, wait a minute how are they the people of God but the Ethiopian Jews they're not if they're practicing the same belief and same religion so to speak would they be people of God too but they'll never say they're people of God they'll never call them the black Hebrew Israelites you see that where that goes they hide it behind words and they hide it behind deception right they hide everything behind words and deception anyway um, uh, it's not much more to go on that uh, these guys are frauds and as I said before the only reason why they want to bring it out now because of us that's all I have on that show